The biggest shift in AI just happened with the release of Gemini 3.0, and it's absolutely mind-blowing. Usually, a product launch would cost you over $15,000, but I wanted to see if Gemini could do it using its lowest tier. And to prove it, I challenged Gemini to launch a travel backpack brand from scratch with market research, product shots, a high converting landing page, as well as a custom web tool to go with it. And it actually worked. So in this video, I'm moving past the hype to show you exactly how to use Gemini as a business powerhouse, covering the features that most people are completely missing. So let's dive straight in. Now, usually to launch a new travel backpack, like this Farpoint 40 travel pack by Osprey, you'd need a series of different things to happen. You'd need a researcher to find the market gap, a designer to render the bag, a marketing team to actually create social media content for that, and a developer probably to build the pre-order site. And the total cost for this team is naturally very high. Or you can use actually specialized AI tools. So there's nothing stopping you go to a tool like Perplexity to do your research, Midjourney for all the images you want to generate, as well as something like lovable for the code where you can develop front ends and back ends, but the total cost of all of that is gonna add up to something between 50 to $70 a month. So I'm gonna show you how to do all of that using only Gemini 3.0 Pro, one window and one subscription, which starts around $20 a month. So if you go to aistudio.google.com, you'll come into this playground mode. And what we're first gonna do is try and make the bag relevant for its core audience, which are people that wanna travel and turn that into marketing material. So we're gonna create something like a LinkedIn infographic to market the bag against something that's important to that customer, which is actually airline restrictions. So we need to check against the UK ca uh, airline carry-on restrictions, which would usually be going to, you know, four or five different websites to understand those carry-on restrictions. We then grab information about the bag itself. So for example, here on the Osprey site, we've got specifications, but we're assuming that we'd have some sort of guide with the dimensions in centimeters. And then once we had all that, we would basically need to collate all that information the old way into something like Canva to actually copy paste the text from the different specifications, drag the boxes around, try and make it into a layout that looks like a good infographic. And we've also got to do all of the layout thinking ourselves. And it's going to take you a while to go and do all that research, etc., as well. But the new way is actually just to go and grab an infographic prompt, similar to the one we have in our Scrapes community, where we've generated infographics kind of like this, so this nice sketch style infographics and we've shared the prompt here. Copy and paste this prompt with some additional information telling it to get the bag specifications from this link or we'd upload a doc and to check UK airline carry-on restrictions against this bag specifications, generate an infographic that shows the dimensions of the bag against the most common providers. Use the prompt below to generate the infographic and then we'll tell it to use Osprey's color scheme. And we're gonna use a site called brandfetch.com to grab that color scheme. We're going to paste in the color scheme there. We're going to run that and that's going to basically come back with an infographic that we could then take to our social media to instantly dis display to our target audience the benefits of this carry-on backpack. And this is what it's generated as a first pass, so literally the first go. We've got a sketch which actually looks like our backpack. If we look back at the backpack here, it's even rendered the details of the straps and the Farpoint 40 on the side, which is incredible. It looks sketch-like, so it's quite playful. And we've got on the right-hand side all of the different airlines, what fits, what people have to pay more for and where it's too big for certain airlines. And it's a handwritten guide to what fits where. And it gives the dimensions of the product, which is pulled from the actual site, 56 by 36 by 23. Imagine how long this would take in something like Canva to actually mock up yourself. And it generated it in about 30 seconds, maybe even less. So Canva is good for like simple tasks, but this has actually gone and researched various restrictions and visualized it instantly with an actual product shot in there as well. And we can change the style of this. It doesn't need to be sketch. It could be realistic if we wanted to. And there we go in photorealistic style. It's put the bag in, it's put all the dimensions in a nice friendly way. And ideally we'd be advertising a bag where everything, it fits in everywhere, but sadly with this case, it doesn't. So now you've got social media marketing material, you now need to create ad content or ad creative of let's say a realistic rugged shot of the backpack in a city rainstorm with somebody wearing it. So an actual use case for the ad. For an e-commerce brand, for example, getting the logo right is absolutely critical. So using something like Gemini 3.0 Pro, which actually renders all of the text and the logo really, really well, really accurately, 
is critical. And just to prove the point, we'll go to the text to image leaderboard voted by people from a variety of images versus prompts. And you can see that Nano Banana Pro or Gemini 3 Pro image is at the top. And then we've got things like Flux, Sea Dream, GPT-5, etc. And I know from experience trying those that they don't render text nearly as well as Nano Banana Pro. So we're going to start a new window. And I always recommend starting a new window because it won't have the context that you previously passed in. So we can start from scratch with a new prompt. So we're actually going to ask it for the ad creative prompt itself. So we've gone into gemini.google.com. We're using Gemini 3. We're saying, give me a prompt for generating an ad creative for this product. I passed in the link. Make sure it's for their target audience. Be specific as it's an image prompt. I'll pass in the bag as a reference image. So basically create me a compelling ad that's suitable for that audience. And what I'm trying to prove here is you don't need to have all the ideas. I don't know how to advertise a bag, but actually by looking and scraping that website URL, they'll be able to understand who are the ideal customer profile and therefore what things would they they actually be looking for. And it's even come out with multiple options here. Since you're using the actual product image as a reference, these prompts focus heavily on the environment, lighting, and models vibe. And we've got different audiences here, like gap year travelers, the one bag community who obsess over packing cubes and organization. And we're going to run them individually and see what outputs we have for the ad creative. The first one generated here, this guy walking with the travel backpack on. And then we've got this second one. You can see it's actually still put all of the text on there. So this actually looks like an authentic shot. I cannot believe how realistic that looks. And the funny thing is I've not even input the product reference image, but it's understood it from the fact it's this Osprey Farpoint 40 because it understands the brand already. And we've got this very different style of advert here with the packing cubes and showing how much you can fit into a small space. And again, this looks like an actual authentic product shot of the bag. So again, you could use something like Mid Journey for sure. You can think of Mid Journey as like an artist. It probably prioritizes more vibes and the feel of a photo, but Gemini is better for that commercial photography style. And it prioritizes things like brand accuracy, like we saw the Farpoint 40 and the Osprey logos in there. And the bag looks exactly like it does on the website as well. So for e-commerce, especially accuracy is always going to win. Okay. So for our new Osprey bag, we've got some organic and ad content, but we can only sell it once we've got a high conversion converting pre-order landing page for that backpack itself. Now the options here are we could actually build this out from scratch or we could go to something like lovable.dev, but that's going to be an additional $20 a month and will also lock us into their platform. We need to publish directly through Lovable, whereas Gemini, you can actually take a screenshot of a page you like ask it to create a page for this new product. And then you can actually take all that HTML and CSS, you then own it and send that to your developer or whoever to spin up that actual product page or just launch it directly from there. So let's actually pretend we want to take a competitor page like the North Face and actually create a page that's more in this style versus what we had on the Osprey page, which was we didn't have all of those images in one place. So what we're going to do is ask it to say, actually do the Osprey page with all the Osprey details in this vault backpack uh, style North Face page with the grid of images. So we're going to go back to the playground, but what we need to do now is go to our build stage and let's show you exactly what happens. So create a high converting product page for my backpack, the Osprey Farpoint 40 in the style of this North Face page with a grid of images. And I'm going to actually download these lifestyle images that we had before and also upload one of the backpacks so that it can hopefully put those images inside the web page as well. Now, when we hit the build here, it's actually going to go and start understanding exactly how it should break down the tasks. You can see it started running. These are the different tasks that it's going to complete. Write persuasive product descriptions that highlight the bag's key features and drawing inspiration from the North Face's engaging style. Structure the page like North Face. Use Google Maps data if it needs to incorporate strong calls to action, animate the images with VO. So it might even bring the images to life with uh, the Google Gemini VO 3.1 model. And if you're expecting perfection, you're not going to get it because it's actually come back and it's given this fantastic layout, right? So I've not had to prompt it anymore. And it looks very, very similar to this grid layout with the codes over here, the price over here. It's got all of the structure of this page over here, the add to cart, the check availability and store. It allows us to scroll down the images without having given it any of that context. We've also got all of the different bits of information up here, the Osprey brand there, but it's not put the correct images in, even though they do look really nice in on their own. So what we've asked it to do now is update the photos with these 
uh, travel style photos and see if it can actually make the changes to that. But very impressed with how it's actually generated a full set of images there and even allows us to deploy that app, download the app. And what we can do is actually take the HTML and the CSS code directly from this code window and we own it now. It's not like Lovable where actually you deploy through their servers and you don't own the code. You absolutely own all of the components here, which means your developers can get started building this out because they've got that MVP immediately. And it's come back with a series of other travel style images, but not quite understood that I've uploaded those images. So perhaps you have to actually go into the code or there's a better way to prompt it. But if you're not impressed so far, this next one is going to blow everything we've seen already out of the water. Creating a front end product page is one thing, but how about a page that has an app built in that serves a function for a customer. So for us, that might be a will it fit calculator, which allows you to calculate against airline restrictions we mentioned earlier, whether a bag that you're gonna purchase will fit. And this is something that people conventionally Google, so will attract leads. Will my bag of this dimensions fit inside this? And we can target certain SEO keywords for that. So we wanna create that free tool using Gemini. So we're gonna go back to the start again. And of course we've asked Gemini to actually give us the prompt. So give me a prompt to generate a web app that is basically a will it fit calculator. It allows the users to put in dimensions of a given bag and then compares the UK airlines carrier restrictions. And then I uploaded the carrier restrictions. So we can literally copy and paste this. It's got information about the different carriers there and it's got information about design requirements, output, etc. Clean, modern and travel orientated user color palette of white, slate gray and sky blue accent color. So we could obviously feed it in information about Osprey as well. We will feed it this web page, use the color palette and style from this web page and we're gonna hit build. And this is extra powerful because it means actually not only can we create a front end page where a user might not interact that much with it but actually if we can allow dynamic inputs it means it's also building things in the back end for us now the alternatives we could use here are something like replit which allows us to build web apps we could use softer we could use other environments and they all basically setting up that python or javascript back end managing dependencies for us deploying it to a server but with all those your success is largely dependent on your technical knowledge now what we're hoping with google AI studio is that actually we don't need any technical knowledge it's going to build an mvp version for us a functional software tool that requires no knowledge, just an idea that allows you with no technical skills to get to this result, or at least represent what you're thinking about and actually pass that on to a team member. So it's a little bit off on the style of the website, but we can always come back and change that, right? But it's got interesting like ability to view it in different screen sizes. So we've got like mobile screen size. Let's say we've got a bag that's 55, 40, 20. We'll hit check my bag. And immediately it's come back with like, this cool red green indicator, which is yes, it will fit in British Airways, but might be a tight squeeze. No, it won't fit as a British Airways handbag, i.e. under the seat. And it tells you even how, where the dimensions are wrong. So too tall, too wide, too deep. But yeah, it basically goes through and has, has taken all of the carrier information and actually created a dynamic app that we could then go away with. And you can see that this has now got some more complex TypeScript functionality, like a calculator in the back end, which is assessing against our front end dimensions. Now there are obviously improvements we could make to this. We would want to capture emails as soon as they hit check my bag or other information as well. And we'd want to make this styling consistent with our website, but these are simple changes that you can make by prompting. This is just showing you what is possible and that you can in fact launch an entire product in just an hour's work using this Gemini 3.0 Pro is absolutely mind blowing. I'm super impressed with the demo so far and what it's been able to produce in such a short time. Now you've seen glimpses of another great tool throughout this video, Lovable. Now Lovable has one thing over Gemini 3.0 for building those full web apps. So unlike this, they can connect straight into a database and an automation backend, which makes building out complete SaaS apps a breeze using something like Lovable. So see how to build these apps from scratch right here in this next video.